Okay, so looking at October, November 2013, variant two, question eight. I did make a video on this before. However, I feel the explanation that I provide in this particular video is, um, is just a better way to look at it. Uh, the explanation before about tangents and so on did work for this particular question. Uh, but a sl slightly tweaking that explanation will help help the same um, in a way shortcut be applied to like uh, all type of questions they can give that are similar to this. And I'll show you another question in this video as well that's pretty similar to this. Okay, so the first thing you need to look at, the first thing I want, I want to tell you is about where you figure out where your marginal cost is minimum. Now, what you should know is your marginal cost is the gradient gradient of the TC curve of your total cost curve. So the curve you see here, the gradient of that is the marginal cost and where the gradient is the least. Uh, that is when the curve is the flattest. Your marginal cost will be minimized. So for this case, perhaps something like this, this is where perhaps I can see the curve is the least. Uh, you can clearly see that it's not D in D if you would like try to figure out the gradient here uh, I mean the gradient is clearly more at Q1 than it is at Q2 right of the curve you, From this thing we'll be looking at the gradient of the curve You may draw tangents on the curve to help you figure out the gradient um, if you're interested in why this is so um, very simple marginal cost is change in total cost upon change in quantity This is something we studied if you look here your your gradient we start we've also just studied in math is change in y upon change in x here your y is called your cost so that's change in total cost here your x is your output so that's change in output both of them are the same and hence your gradient is equals to your uh, mc the gradient of the curve again i'm emphasizing on that uh, of the curve itself, not of any line that you draw, of, of the curve or obviously of a tangent which shows the gradient of the curve at a particular point. So that was simple enough. I'll quickly clear up some space. Uh, and we can look at something else. The second thing we can look at is average total cost minimization or what you also like, you can say average cost minimization. And then the third thing we look at average variable cost. So for average total cost, but one thing you should know, um, in fact, let me just tell you the method for this first. You, for, the, for whichever point that you're trying to figure out the average total cost, you first uh, draw a line from the origin to the point and your average total cost is the gradient of the line though. That's, that's why I was emphasizing, emphasizing on, the, uh, on what I was saying before that this is the gradient of the curve. This is the gradient of the line, the line that you draw from the origin. So uh, this is a little different. And why is that so? Is because if you look at average total cost, well, that is basically total cost upon quantity, right? So, if I look at change in total cost upon change in quantity, but I look at it from the origin, then it basically gives me total cost upon total quantity. Like if, if I wanted to check for this particular point and I drew a line from the origin, they've already, they've already done it for me though. Um, for the gradient of the line, I might be calculating change in total cost, but since I'm taking one point, I'm going to be taking at is the origin um, total cost. Anything minus zero is still the same thing, right? So like if this is, if this particular value was 10, 10 minus zero is still 10, right? So uh, whether I look, gradient normally you think of change, but even if you look at it in absolute terms, uh, it's still going to be your absolute value of total cost divided by your value of the x axis, which is your output. So that is total cost upon output. So if you want to calculate uh, the gradient of the line, you would get uh, average total cost. So that is how you figure out your average total cost. And when you want to figure out where your average total cost is minimum, you basically draw as many lines as you want. Um, normally it, with the options that they're given, you can figure it out after drawing just a few for a few points. But basically if you wanted to figure out where average total cost is minimum for the curve, you basically take this take from the, from the origin, you just draw as many lines, like you could draw like, uh, as, as much,
yeah and and if you if you continue to draw then then the lines would stop to be flat then they would go something like this uh well there's so, so many lines the idea is if atc is the gradient of the line then the line with minimum gradient that is the line that is the flattest i hope i spelled flattest correctly that would give you minimum atc so i'm not drawing like all possible lines in the curve at the moment but like out of the these two out of these two lines obviously the uh, q2 has a lower atc uh, if i want to draw this q3 has an even lower atc if i draw something like here yeah, over here uh, okay a bad line but whatever point here that has an even lower atc and perhaps the the minimum atc because i think i can't draw a line from the origin to the curve that is flatter than this so that's what you're going to be looking at for calculating minimum uh, atc for abc it is literally the same thing with some this one small tweak if you look at it for minimum average variable cost you do the same thing except your line to the curve um instead of this starting from the origin the, this starts from point where total cost curve in a way intersects y axis so this particular point now uh, let's call this point a i mean and the reason why this is true is because for total cost total costs are zero at the origin right because they include both variable and fixed costs but variable costs are zero where it cuts the y axis because these costs are just your fixed costs so your variable cost when output is zero your your variable cost is zero so in a way this point here is really your origin for the variable cost for variable cost which is why you draw lines from this particular point so you kind of think of this you kind of look at this now as your x you look at this as your x axis you look at this as your y axis you just ignore this all all of this region because all of this just indicates fixed cost which is not a uh, you know something that you want to care about when you're looking at minimum average variable cost so the same thing for variable average variable cost though you draw a line let's say and they've been courteous enough to give you a line here you draw a line you can draw as many lines as you want to test whatever points um, let's say you wanted to test even this point uh, i'll 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 highlight this this line in red because i don't think i can draw a line that is flatter than this the line that the, the flattest possible line you can draw obviously indicates minimum average variable cost because for these lines the gradient of these lines indicates average variable cost that was the idea uh the flattest possible line that i see i can draw is the one is the line in red that goes to q3 so average variable cost is minimized at oq3 which is why your answer was i believe uh, i think it was hc right yeah so it was a uh, oq3 um so that's fine now if you apply this to another question um this is i believe the summer of 16 variant 3 now for this now you don't have any variable here you just have total so your any line you're going to draw is going to be from the origin right um now instead of minimize you're looking at maximize but the same idea applies before we were making lines and we were seeing which line was the flattest which where was the gradient lowest so to figure out minimize uh, the, you know the the point where uh one can say the the cost was minimized now you're going to be looking at which line shows um the highest gradient which is which is basically the steepest line because the steepest line has the greatest gradient and in this particular case your average product of labor that's going to be equals to the gradient of the line your marginal product would obviously the same as marginal cost just be the gradient 
of the curve at uh, any particular points. So if I quickly draw this properly, um, so for the average product, I'll, I'll draw lines from uh, the origin. And I can clearly see, I, can, I can't draw a line that is steeper than the line that I've drawn for this particular point. So it's for, for this, 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 this line basically. And when you draw it with a scale on your paper, it's gonna be more clear uh, which line is the steepest you can draw. So we're looking at maximize, so you want to maximize your gradient instead of minimizing it. So you look at the steepest line. Um, and the steepest line is the one at O, N, 2, which is why your answer uh, is B. Uh, 